Hi, I'm Peoria Mayor Kathy Carlett. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Peoria Pulse. Every single day across America, hundreds of thousands of men and women slide into their protective vests, pull up their boots, and answer the call to selflessly serve their community. In Peoria, we are fortunate to have 199 brave and committed sworn officers. And with public safety as our most important priority, we are proud to be home to one of the very best police departments in the nation. Each day, these officers bring their training, expertise, and courage to the job to ensure Peoria citizens are as safe as possible. Today, I'm happy to be joined by Peoria's police chief, Roy Minter, to talk about the nationally recognized work of our very own police department. Chief, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Mayor, and thank you so much for the invitation. It is a pleasure to be in this beautiful facility. You have to tell me a little bit about the Pinnacle Peak Public Safety Facility. Well, first of all, this is a state-of-the-art, really, facility for us, and much-needed facility mm -hmm. up here in the northern part of the city. Uh, they've done an outstanding job doing construction for this facility. I can, just about everything we've asked for, we have in this facility, from an expanded briefing room to expanded locker room area for our officers to a brand-new fitness center. Um, also, we have a new dedicated community room, so we can now have community meetings in the previous this building we had to share a training room and a community room so depending on what type of training we were doing we have to rearrange the training room and then maybe let it air out a little bit but now we have a dedicated training room we have a dedicated community room uh, we also have dedicated areas for the officers to come in and do their report writing so it really is a state-of-the-art facility when you look at the training room uh, it is one of the best and most innovative training rooms for any law enforcement agency anywhere in the country Wow that's great to hear because as our community continues to grow how does having a facility like this contribute to the crime levels well if you look at this facility you look at the city I mean our department has grown as far as staffing from when the old facility was opened in 2001 about almost 70 percent wow. and you look at the city the population in the city has grown about 44 okay. percent and this is the fastest growing area of the city so it's very important for us to have a facility that really prepares the department and the city for the future growth of the city we believe we've done an outstanding job of putting together a facility that really prepares and really positions the police department to address the needs in the northern part of the city. So facility equates to staffing levels equates to response times. Absolutely. With this new facility, it will allow us at some future time to assign additional personnel up here to the northern part of the city. And not just uniform personnel, but we'd also be looking at our non-sworn civilian personnel, whether it be park rangers, code enforcement, animal services. We've got the facility to assign more personnel up here. Good. Okay. And so all of that really feeds in to the bigger picture that we have, which is the philosophy of community policing in the city of Peoria, right? So let's talk a little bit about that since it's a big deal to all of us. Absolutely, and one of my favorite subjects is our great community policing program. We're very proud of the fact that we have not just a locally but a nationally known community policing program. We're very proud of the proactive measures that we take to really stay connected to members of our community. We attend numerous community meetings and community events on a regular basis, usually two or three community meetings or community events on a regular basis. As a matter of fact, we have one scheduled this week in Councilmember Leone's area. And it's a great partnership between the police department and members of our community by getting out, building those relationships, building those partnerships with members of our community, and allowing, us to assi allowing them to assist us with keeping our community safe. And I know that, that there is uh, that it's very important that there is a perception of safety as well as safety. So you have to be there, you have to, you have to be seen, people have to know you. And I know in the city of Peoria that people do know you. They see you at the grocery stores, they see you at HOA meetings, and then they see you at, um, at things like the SALT conferences, mm -hmm. at Morning with the Mayor, and at uh, UCAN meetings. Tell me a little bit about the UCAN um, meetings that you have. Sure, UCAN stands for United Community Action Network, and it's a meeting that we hold on a month monthly basis with identified community leaders, members of the community of faith, from the business community, from the education sector to identified community groups. We met, meet on a monthly basis and it's our opportunity to have a, a forum with them and it's our opportunity to communicate things to them that are going on 
on in the police department, and then also hear issues and concerns or information that's going on in the community. A great program. Um, it's one that's being modeled by other agencies throughout the nation, and it allows us to stay on the forefront of really building relationships and sustaining partnerships in our community. Won a few awards for that one, haven't you? Yes, we have. We've won a few <laughs> local awards and also a couple of national recognition awards. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the awards that you have won in your department. Well, we won the Best of the West Award, which was a great award for us. And then we've also won a couple of innovation awards for that being one of the great innovative community policing programs that's seen not just locally but also nationally. It's also recognized by our CALEA Gold Standard Assessors uh, when we went through our reaccreditation for CALEA, uh, the last reaccreditation we went through, one of our assessors came to one of our UCAM meetings and actually said, I've got to take this back to my agency and replicate it. Tell me a little bit about CALEA. Well, CALEA is our actual accreditation standard. Um, it's about 480 accreditation standards that they look for law enforcement agencies that are viewed as model law enforcement agencies across the country to kind of model those standards. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that we've been a CALEA certified agency for several years. And not only are we a CALEA certified agency, we're one of only two agencies in the entire state that have received gold standard certification. Did you say two in the state? Two in the state. It's just Peoria and Chandler right now. That is incredible. Absolutely. Incredible. Well, we are very, very proud of the Peoria Police Department. I, I can't tell you how proud I am personally, and I know that our citizens are very proud. They see you out and about, and I, I hear all the time how um, safe people feel, how glad they are to know you and to know that you are involved in their um, communities, and I just have to say that I am always proud to hear another award, another award, another accreditation for the, the Peoria Police Department, so thank you for being here. Well, thank you very much for the invitation, Mayor. As new challenges continue to face us, I am assured by the innovative work of the Peoria Police Department, who is always looking for new best practices to serve our growing community. This state-of-the-art facility is an excellent example of this and is strategically designed to enable public safety expansion as our population grows, providing reassurance that Peoria citizens will not experience a lag in service due to growth. Every single day, our police officers are changing lives and saving lives, and I am honored to know that Peoria's finest are working tirelessly to keep us safe. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Peoria Pulse.